Welcome to the homework for lesson nine. It's grade three, module three. Get your name here first, and we're using arrays to complete the equation. And our first one is three times 16. You might know this one right off as 48. But if you don't, you can count them all, or you can look at it like this. These are rows of 16, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you know that's 30 and these are rows of 6 so if that's 30 and that's 18 you can figure out that it's 48 uh, another way to do it is to look at three rows of 2 and chop it up into 8 of those which would be the same as 6 times 8 and 6 times 8 is 48. Now we're looking at 4 by 18 array. Now again, if you know your 18s really well, you could get this right off the top of your head. It's 72. And I'll show it to you. So these are rows of 18, right? So you could look at it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 10. There's four rows of 10, so that's 40. And this is four rows of 8, 32. And 40 plus 32 is 72. Or you could look at this as four rows of two, right? Because here's four rows of two, and there's nine of those, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, four rows of two is eight, right? There's eight stars in one of these little arrays, and you have nine of them, so it's the same as eight times nine. And if you know your nines really well, then you can figure out 8 times 9, which of course is the same. It's 72. And now we're going to use parentheses in these equations. We've been practicing a lot with parentheses and seeing how they change what you do first. It can really change uh, your products or the results of your equations. Here we have 12 times 6. Uh, sometimes they just make it easier for you. So you could think of this if you don't know 12 times 4, some of us know our 12s really well. Uh, you might think of the 12 instead, but like, but I don't know 12 times 4, but I know 12 is 6 times 2. So you can rewrite this 12 as 6 times 2, right? Because that's the same as 12. And then you can shift the parentheses because then it doesn't matter in multiplication which two factors you multiply first. It's commutative, so it doesn't matter which two you multiply first. So let's multiply the 2 times 4 first instead, and that makes it easier, because that we know is 8, and we can do 6 times 8, and that's 48. So that's just the example that we're going to follow for the rest of these. So here we're looking at 3 times 14, which we can call the 14, 2 times 7. And then we're just looking at 3 times 2 times 7. And if we look at the 3 times 2 first, that's 6. So it's the same as 6 times 7. So 3 times 14 is the same as 6 times 7. It's 42. And without even looking at this stuff right here, you should already be thinking. You see this 3 times 12. Maybe you know your 12s. But in case you don't, 12, that's going to be, what, a 6 times 2 or a 3 times 4? And let's see what they use, right? Because it's the bigger of the two numbers. We're going to get this down to using the manageable facts that we practice. So they use 3 times 4. And then now we have 3 times 3 times 4. If we do the 3 times 3 first, then we have 9 times 4. And you may already know that's 36. I think an easier way to do this 
would be to use the distributive property. But this works pretty well. If you know your fours or you know your nines, you're really good at using those, and that's a good strategy there. <clears throat> Solve and then match the related facts. So here we have 20 times 2, which is 40. That's the same as 4 times 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10, right? These are all 10s. Look, they're all 5 times 2. These are all 10s. So this is going to be 70. And this is 40, because it's 4 times 10. And this is 80, because it's 8 times 10. And this is 60, because it's 6 times 10. So 2 30s is the same as a 60. And 2 35s, that's the same as a 70. Because the, the idea is what they want you to look at is the 7 times 5 times 2. They want you to see this 7 times 5. And think of that. Well, 7 times 5 is 35. So it's the same as two 35s. 40 times 2. 40 times 2 is 80. Oops. That was my eraser. 40 times 2 is 80. Now you can see this 40 is the same as 8 times 5 times 2. And that's what they have here. We just move the parentheses from around the 8 times 5. To make it 8 times 5 times 2. To make it easier to think of 8 times 10, 80.